try to describe a color that doesn't exist in nature. It doesn't work, does it? Indeed, it's difficult to imagine what is unknown. Approximately the same would be true with four-dimensional space, given that we live in three dimensions. As for how the 4D world would look, it just doesn't fit in your head. But we're still going to try to present the fourth dimension. What would everything look like if space really became 4D? And what are 4D creatures? So for starters, we need to figure out what all the other dimensions are. Take a look at the line on the screen. This is a one-dimensional space, and a creature living in such a wretched world can only move left or right. If we only connect several straight lines into a square, then we will get a 2D world and a new direction, up and down. To turn the 2D world into a three-dimensional figure, we should draw a line from each corner of the square and connect them. And here we've already created a cube or space in which we exist ourselves. Now draw a line from each corner of the cube in any direction and also connect them. It will turn out something like this very strange pattern. Congratulations, you've just created a four-dimensional space. If you get carried away drawing lines further, you can get five dimensions, six, seven, and so on into infinity. However, you see, it's quite realistic to draw a 4D or 5D mathematical figure, but no one can see the live area of higher dimensions. So the inhabitants of the one-dimensional world would see instead of two-dimensional creatures, obscure lines. In turn, the inhabitants of the two-dimensional universe would appear only a flat, very strange projection of the bodies of beings from the third dimension. For example, let's imagine that we are in a 2D universe. It would be difficult for us to get inside a two-dimensional creature without cutting it and to move the insides like pieces of applique on a sheet of paper. You can remove the stomach or move the heart, lungs, and kidneys to the left and right, or even pull out a 2D creature from its world and move it somewhere else. About the same scenario, everything will happen if the inhabitants of the 4D universe fall into ours. When higher beings decide to walk on Earth, then perhaps we'll only see some strange bunch of skin lumps. The aliens themselves would be able to consider our planet as much as they like and conduct experiments with its inhabitants. If desired, they'll easily, without spilling a drop of blood, climb into our body and pull out the insides. Or even throw us somewhere far away from the universe, and we, being in some indescribable place, wouldn't even understand what's what. It's quite another thing if one day we somehow can become full-fledged inhabitants of a 4D world. That's when you can have some serious fun. For example, to teleport an infinite number of times from one place to another, changing universes like gloves. Now it seems fantastic, but maybe someday we'll actually be able to do such unimaginable things. The fact is that in the past, the Earth had more dimensions. This follows from the general theory of relativity. According to some scientists, under certain circumstances, we have a chance to return to them once again. At first glance, this would be very cool because the higher dimensions provide mega opportunities. Would you like to live in a 4D universe? What would you do first? Write your versions in the comments, although the researchers have already done it for you. Scientists warn of very strange and possibly catastrophic changes that await us during the transition to 4D. In one of the models, the fourth dimension disintegrates gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear, and other fundamental forces in a whirlwind. Physicists say that according to the usual scheme, these forces act only in our 3D universe. For example, let's consider what happens to nuclear forces. The nuclei and atoms are the building blocks of all matter. Our bodies and all objects in the universe are made from them. In higher dimensions, these vital microparticles will receive more degrees of freedom to maneuver and the links between them will weaken. As a result, the enzymes will lose activity, proteins will change shape, and DNA will no longer be encoded in molecules. This means that people's bodies will crumble to dust, and not even a trace of humanity would remain. 
True, there are other models developed in the framework of string theory. They showed that such a global catastrophe may not occur during the transition to 4D. According to the results of experiments, the electromagnetic and nuclear forces would remain within three dimensions. Only gravity would begin to flow into the fourth. From this leakage, gravity would weaken, and this would turn the whole world upside down. For example, asteroids that are stuck together in space will scatter. A comet approaching the sun would quickly evaporate, while forming an incredibly long and enchantingly beautiful tail. And 4D people will be very different. They'll be able to move not only up and down, left and right and back and forth, but also in one more yet incomprehensible direction. And because of this decline in gravity, they'll start jumping miles. Something like the popular superhero the Hulk in movies and comics. The planet itself will also become a mutant. The Mendeleev periodic system would stretch from left to right and become shorter from bottom to top. Each element after helium would acquire strange properties. For example, 4D magnesium would be a noble gas, not a metal. Not only will the composition of the Earth change, but also its appearance. The planet will greatly increase in size, especially around the equator. In this ghostly multi-world, even light and thunder will be different. In the odd dimensions, the third and fifth and seventh, light obeys our usual laws of physics. But in even-numbered dimensions, in particular the fourth, rather strange things would happen to light. Any light would shine like an incredibly long light, and an especially distant one, as if someone reflected a bright light from the moon. Similar things will happen with sound. Sound's waves will not spread through the air. They'll move backward towards themselves like ripples on the surface of water. So, setting off fireworks, in our world we would see and hear an explosion for a moment. In a four-dimensional space, an explosion of fireworks even outdoors would sound like prolonged thunder and roar for a very long time like a fire. Even the orbits of celestial bodies, according to scientists, like light and sound, are also not stable in all dimensions. They're stable only in two and three dimensions. In all other dimensional orbits, they would be spiraling or flying apart. So the Earth, after moving into four-dimensional space, would move away from the Sun and become colder. Although, because of this, humanity would no longer have to fight global warming. However, if the additional dimension reaches the size from Earth to the Sun, this advantage will quickly lose its meaning. Scientists assume that all celestial bodies in our solar system will lose their connection with each other and within themselves due to the leakage of gravity. Even if such instability lasts only a couple of days a year and gravity is normal every three months, the solar system will completely fall apart in just a hundred years. It turns out, the transition to the fourth dimension promises a terrible catastrophe. But scientists don't deny that they haven't sufficiently studied this issue. Perhaps soon they'll create a model in which 4D won't destroy anything, but on the contrary will open unprecedented opportunities for our planet. And people, for example, will be able to easily spend the weekend in the beyond worlds, having rested and gathered impressions. And while you're not in the fourth dimension, give us your thumbs up if you like the video, and click on the bell so as not to miss new releases. There are a lot of interesting things ahead.